Welcome back. The objective of this video is to introduce an application problem of natural logarithms. So here in example 10 from the book, um, we've got a function that predicts the score of a memory test. So the average scores for the group in the human me memory model between 0 and 12 months is as follows. So 75 minus 6 times a natural log of t plus 1, where t is the value in months. So what's the average score on the original exam? So the original exam, right away, time equals 0. And then they ask us to do t equals 2 months and t equals 6 months. So as I scroll down here, we put in 0 into our function. So we have 75 minus 6 times the natural log of 0 plus 1. So 6 times the natural log of 1. The natural log of 1 is 0. So we get 6 times 0, 75 minus 6 times 0. So we get 75. So that one actually, we didn't even need a calculator for that one. OK. After 2 months and after 6 months, so simply put in 2 into your function. And we get 75 minus 6 times the natural log of 3. Now, we don't know what the natural log of 3 is, so we can't do this one in our head. And then for f of 6, 6 plus 1 is 7. We don't know what the natural log of 7 is. So we're going to use our calculator and input our data. 75 minus 6 times the natural log of 3. So we put in 3 because it was 2 plus 1 was 3. And we get 68.40. So 75 minus 6 natural log of, so we put in t is after 6 months. So 6 plus 1 is 7. And we get 63.40. I know there's a way to go back and edit and change that 3 and make it a 7 and not have to redo that. Um, we can show that another time. We can also do this graphically. Okay, As the textbook did, they did this graphically. So we, we have to put our function into our calculator. And let's think about this, though. So we already know uh, that when we put 0 in, in fact, we know our x's range, independent variable ranges between 0 and 12. Our dependent variable, our y's, we're not sure what happens here, but obviously we can't have anything higher than 75. But we don't know how low that goes. So when we're getting ready to put this into our calculator, so we put our function into our calculator, we've got to set our window. So when we set our window, we know our x's are going to range between 0 and 12. So I put in negative 2 for an x minimum and 15 for a max because I like to see a little bit further on either end. And I like to see my um, y-axis and that kind of thing. Uh, my scale for x's, I'm just going to count by 1's. My y-max, or what my y-min, I went all the way down to negative 10 because I wanted to see the x-axis. And my y-max, I did a little bit above 75, so I went up to 85. And I'm going to count by 10's. So that's what I did for my window. And then I graphed it. And that was the graph I got. So the graph is very similar to the graph that we saw that the textbook gave us. But really, I'd like to see a little bit better graph. But this does cover the data for all 12 months. And we can also see the data for the 12 months on our table. We can go to our table. And we're not going to have negative x's. So I'm just going to cursor down a little bit, and we can see our table gives us all the outputs for those 12 months. So we can see here our window really goes only till about 59 for an x equals 12. Uh, so if I wanted a better looking graph, I could always tweak my window a little bit here at this point. And I'm going to keep my x's the same. My y min, though, I really only need to go down to like 50. And I could go, you know, from 75. Well, let's make that 80. And 
we, would, we could even count by fives here. And then graph that. And that gives us a nice, a nice looking graph. Our table values don't change, but it sure looks good. So there really is an application problem. You'll see problems similar to this, different functions, but the process is the same in terms of inputting values for x and solving for y or our in, solving for our dependent variable. You may be able to graph some of those as well and use a table of values to help you out. But there's an application problem of a natural logarithm, and we'll get more practice with that when I see you in class.